this is roof sheeting comes ready primed and sealed and painted an excellent product we know this product lasts between 8 and 15 years but what we have done we just added a protective layer on there to see if we can protect it through this very aggressive process we're doing what we got is galvanized one coated with our protective coating and normal galvanizing now this is not to take galvanizing apart this is because we all know that galvanizing is not conducive to acids at all all right so what we got here now we have got nitric yes half liter of water in there and we'll be adding the nitric as can be seen it's nitric acid we're going to be adding to the water Then we got our hydrochloric. Sulfuric. Sulfuric and our phosphoric. Inserting our concrete blocks, <coughs> we'll be inserting our roof coating one there, one there. We'll then be inserting our roof sheeting coating in one there, one there. We'll be putting in our tile block in there. And in there, same here, there, and there. We'll be putting our protective out coating of paint in there, in there, and there, and there. You'll see which one looks more aggressive, which looks like it's this one, and we'll put it in there. Then for measure sake, we can take our PPS, we'll dump it in there, our steel seal in there, our paint in there, and our rubber in there. Same with this one, our paint will go in, our rubber will go in, our steel seal will go in, and the PPS. The phosphoric, as can be seen, is pretty aggressive, but what I would like to do is actually put this brick in, which has been treated and untreated as well, so we can see the difference. Oh, for safe measure, he has a piece on glass. We can put that in there as well. Just to give an example, this one is heated up to 49 degrees, and this one is at 70 between 68, 63 to 68. Eighty. Just make a round figure of eighty degrees Celsius. Further, what we have done, and we're currently doing tests on, is vulcanized rubber. Where if we find that the steel core actually rusts, we can stop the rust. But this stage of the game is <coughs> the intermediate rubber, uh, the bonding, the bonding rubber that they use to, to bond onto the steel uh, is not working with our product. Uh, the test results were, I think the standard is 38.4, we achieved only 31.7 or 
So we still work in progress here, which we, we're hoping to achieve within the next couple of weeks. Another thing is, this is what we call our plaster. This is just our plaster with our with, with plaster sand. And as can be seen, the adhesive qualities of the product is of such a nature you cannot remove it off glass. As can be seen, there, and there's on the rubber, it's pretty difficult to remove. This is our coating on our steel, and as can be seen, and vice versa. This is just our prior PPS. As can be seen, that's been nicely ground and clean, and as can be seen, it cannot be removed. Okay, so let's start taking out the stuff now. We're just neutralizing the product again. We have taken it out. This is the steel seal, as can be seen in nitric, zero damage so far. This is our roof tile, zero damage so far. Let's take it out. This one. Combination, no damage whatsoever. A neutralizer, as can be seen, we did quite a bit of damage to that. It has eaten it, but not so that it's completely damaged. Oh. This is our white paint, as can be seen, still intact from the combined. As can be seen on the the tile, the the, tile, uh, the, the, the coating on the corrugate on the corrugation, a protective layer protected it a bit, and it's still intact. From our combined acids, still got its flexibility, no damage whatsoever. This is our roof coating, neutralizing. All the galvanized has been eaten off. All the galvanized has been eaten off, but the protective layer is still on. And this is our steel seal, neutralizing, still flexible. One coat. Our liquid rubber. Still intact. What have we got here? Yeah? This is the galvanized that we now put into nitric acid. The galvanized is still intact. Zero damage. What else have we got? Okay, we got a piece of uh, liquid rubber on a piece of glass. Neutralize that quickly. As can be seen, Intact. What else we got in there? This is the paint in the nitric. 
just neutralize it. No damage. Okay, what else have we got in here? <coughs> we can get to our our coated. Perfect condition. Zero damage. Under the nitric, this is with the primers. As can be seen, it is eaten slightly into it. Damage has occurred and it is, it is coming off. Onto the combined acids. <coughs> Paint is perfect. No color variation. Perfect. Okay, what else have we got in here? We got our bricks. As can be seen, the damage to the roof tile in the nitric is pretty awesome and it's still busy degrading as we speak. There we are. Compare the one to the other, the one to the other. Okay, what have we got here? Take this out. As can be seen, it is started, it's impregnated the coating itself on the one, and it is still eating it up. Neutralizing, there it seems to be stable, but as can be seen, it's eaten it nicely into it and it's actually cleaned the steel as well, taken all the rust off the steel, which is pretty good. Okay, now we're going to get to our brick. This is the combined brick. Okay, as can be seen, it's showed into the, there's a hell of a color variation there, and it's actually starting eating away to the substrate. At the back, at the back where it was treated, you can see eating right into the substrate there, and zero damage there. Just a slight color variation, and it has eaten out. Now we get to this one, which is the nitric acid. <coughs> On the nitric, as can be seen, it started to eat it off. On the code, our code product, nothing on there. As you can be seen, our substrate is still looking in pretty good condition, where it's actually eaten right into the substrate. And in the back, you can see the variation. It's eaten right into the substrate, and now it was treated. So you can see there where it's come off. It's actually eaten in. But we still have more protection on this side. We got this. This was in a nitric acid, 55% nitric. As can be seen, still flexible and clear. No damage there. What is in? Yeah. Okay. What we got here now is just a normal brick. 
Zieht es. Can be seen untreated, treated. If we can turn it around, so this will be untreated side. Look at the damage it's caused to the substrate. It's eaten right into the substrate where their slight damage is done to that side. In conclusion, gentlemen, what I would just like to do is to put, if you have a desire of ever doing a waterproof foundation or waterproof plaster, this is in nitric, it'll do its number there, we'll leave that in for a minute or two, and what have we got here? Oh, as can be seen in the nitric, from that test, it has eaten off the roof tile. In fact, it's eaten away the roof. And there we've got our protective layer. You can see there's damage done to it, but there is still a protection layer. But it's eaten the roof completely away. <coughs> so that must have been for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, the paint is coming off. So we just take this and we scrub it. As can be seen, we've now eaten away the paint. And damage has been done to our substrate or to our coating, but at least it's protected the steel. It's given the steel protection, but it has not eaten. As can be seen, it's eaten that steel away. Pretty impressive, I would say. Then this is our liquid rubber, as can be seen. Still intact, still flexible, no damage. Getting back to this uh, galvanized. Still galvanized, still galvanized, no problem. Get back here, this is now in, nit in nitric. Just neutralizing it. Slight damage. Oh, well that's probably the rubber coming off. But there. And there we have it, gentlemen. I thank you. <laughs>